So if you're thinking about going to Vietnam, one thing that you may be wondering is should you land in Ho Chi Minh City or should you land in Hanoi? So today I'm going to be going over what you can expect out of not just those two cities, but the surrounding areas and what your Vietnam trip could look like based upon where you're going to land. So starting off with just the two cities, what are some of the differences between the two? So if you land in Ho Chi Minh City, the first thing that may strike you is just how big of a city it actually is. It's definitely a metropolitan style area and in a lot of ways it might surprise you because it may not be what you're thinking about when you envision Vietnam. Some of the highlights in Ho Chi Minh City are definitely the shopping, whether you want to get some of the best fakes in the world or actually want to get some of the best high-end designer stuff in the world that can also be found in Ho Chi Minh City. Also a big draw for a lot of people is the nightlife scene in Ho Chi Minh City. So if maybe you're younger or maybe you're older but you just like to party, that may be the place for you. So jumping up to Hanoi to give you an overview of the two cities before going into the surrounding areas. As soon as you get off the plane in Hanoi, you will get the feeling that, wow, I am actually in Vietnam. It is 100% what you would think about when you think of Vietnam, the shop, the old quarter walking down the road and they actually have really good sidewalks for people to walk down and there's a lot of walking area around there. There's a lot to see in Hanoi. You have some of the oldest temples and architecture that you can find anywhere else in Vietnam. And overall, just out of the two cities, not talking about the surrounding areas yet, but out of the two, I would feel like, at least for me, that I personally enjoyed Hanoi a little bit better. I'm not as much of a nightlife person, so the experience of Hanoi was more of a novelty and I think I enjoyed it a bit more. But when you go to Vietnam, you're not just going for one city or another, you're probably going for a lot of different attractions that you would wanna see and a lot of different cities. So let me talk about some of the cities and the surrounding areas around Ho Chi Minh City and then of course I'll do the same with Hanoi to help you better make your decision. So if you land in Ho Chi Minh City, you will be around the Mekong Delta. And if you make your way south, you can find a lot of different floating markets. For example, the famous one in Cai Rang, which can be found in Kanta, Vietnam. That is a major attraction for a lot of people and is a very unique experience that I've had. And it's super cool and very interesting to just see how different people live their life. If you're a big beach person, you have a few different options if you're going to Ho Chi Minh City. You have Vung Tau, which is about a four-ish hour drive from there. That is a smaller, lesser known beach town, but I definitely enjoy it. It's just somewhere that I've went with my family multiple times and I have a lot of great memories there, so I may be biased to it. But if you want a very beautiful beach experience that's also a bigger city, you can make your way up to Nha Chang. Nha Chang is a very popular tourist destination. And if you go to Nha Chang, another destination that you probably want to hit up because it's in a very close proximity, about a three and a half to four hour drive, is Da Lat. It is a real cool, unique mountain town and probably has some of the best climate that you will find in Vietnam. You can expect big forests, you can expect waterfalls, huge, vast expanses of lake and a really great night market with some excellent street food. If you land in Ho Chi Minh City, another location that you may think about hitting up would be Muay Na, Vietnam. Moi Na is probably one of the most unique places that I've ever been in Vietnam or maybe even in the world. There is actually a desert. There's not just a desert, there are two different distinct desert there. White sand dunes and you have the red sand dunes. And not only that, there is a fisherman village that's really cool to see as well as the ferry stream. On top of all that, there is a beach, which is absolutely beautiful. Those are just some of the locations that you can expect if you land in Ho Chi Minh City. But let's talk about Hanoi. If you land in Hanoi, some of the great locations that you can find around there 
is Halong Bay. Halong Bay is maybe one of the places that you imagine when you think about Vietnam because it's just been seen in so many different movies. On the other side of Hanoi, about five hours more north, you can go up to the mountain town of Sepa, Vietnam. Sepa is gorgeous. It's one of the places that really took my breath away when I was there. Every direction you looked looked like something out of a magazine. You have an amazing, unique culture there, as well as some experiences that will make the best story, whether it's the glass bridge that protrudes off the mountain or taking a cable car that just floats you into the clouds and going to Fancy Span and seeing the highest point in all of Indochina. There's a lot to see and a lot to do there. If you land in Hanoi, there are a lot of other cities as well, but since I've only went there one time, I have not been lucky enough to explore them all yet, but you have Ninh Binh as well as a few others, and they're all within a very close proximity to Hanoi, so that is a benefit so those are a few differences between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, but let me quickly talk about just going to Vietnam in general and maybe possibly lower a little bit of anxiety if you're trying to decide, oh, should I go here or go here? If you're going to Vietnam and hopefully you're giving yourself at least some breathing room, like a two to three week trip at minimum, I feel like if you're able to do that, landing in Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City is really not gonna be too big of a deal because in Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, you can get on an airplane and pretty much travel to any of the main destinations. And it's very affordable. Most of the time, a plane ticket will be less than $100 and hopefully will not break the budget too much to make that decision. There's places in between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh as well that you may wanna travel like Da Nang or Phu Walk, which is further south, but again, you would wanna take a plane whether you're going from Ho Chi Minh City or going from Hanoi. So those are some things to consider, but just in general, go to Vietnam, have a good time, see the beautiful country, and try not to overthink it too much. If you would, drop in the comment section below and let me know, have you been to Vietnam? Which location did you land at and what did you see? Maybe you'll be able to help some people that are maybe deciding where they wanna go. If you're planning your trip now, drop in the comment section below and let me know where you're leaning towards. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.